behind your lines. Three, two, one, go. And the qualification match 26 is a go with all the Red Alliance moving off of moving out of their half zones. And most of the Blue Alliance doing the same. 6888 trying to. They're almost off the platform, but it doesn't look like they're going to make it by the end of the sandstorm. 2059 coming out strong as usual with Cargo not quite making on the first shot, but heading back to throw it to grab another one. 6888, the uh, BC breakouts going to grab more more hatch panels to load up their cargo ship, and it looks like the Blue Alliance just got a cargo into their cargo ship by Team 4795 as 6932 is continuing to place is continuing to place hatch panels on their rock on their alliance's rocket. Coming around to put one on the second level as 4795 comes to chase down a runaway cargo. Go load up that cargo ship some more. Looks like 68888 is waiting for some hatch panels, and here it comes. They're picking up the hatch panel to take it over and place it on one of their game pieces. 2059 comes over, drops some more cargo in, loading up that cargo ship as fast as they can, and Team 5762 doing the same. Chasing down some more cargo right now to load up that cargo ship, making sure they can get all the cargo points from that that they can. As they head over to their loading station to grab some more, 6888 has regained control of their robot and is now putting more patch panels onto the cargo ship, making way for the Blue Alliance to place more cargo into the cargo ship. As 6932 places yet more hatch panels on that Blue Alliance rocket, at the same time 4795 is still going hard on the cargo. Looks like they're, they might be able to fill up their cargo ship by the end of the match, but it'll be a close one. With 30 seconds left in the match, there's not much time for teams to do anything. 5762 looks like they're trying to push 6240 around, keep getting them into an optimal position, making way for 2059 to be able to climb to that level three half as they're so well known for. And it looks like they have as 2059 gets ready to make the level three climb. 4795 is doing the same thing on their side of the field. 4795 has successfully climbed to level three at the same time 2059 has, giving both alliances a robot all but it looks like the Red Alliance's sheer number of cargo pieces in that cargo ship might win in the match, but we'll see for sure right now. And they have taken it away as Red Alliance wins with 48 points to a really close point margin with Blue Alliance's 44 points. The Blue Alliance 